Hi guys, it's Andy from Nismo Tech UK. We're giving an overview for Be Quiet. This is their brand new PSU Power Zone, and the model that we have is the 850 watt version. Looking at the front of the box, we have got the Be Quiet logo up at the top here, along with the Power Zone branding um, across the middle and the 850 watt. Just down at the bottom of the box, it does mention that it's got a single 12 volt rail, a call off function for the fans, which I'll come on to in a moment, and uh, the actual PSU does feature a Silent Wings fan as well, so it's going to be nice and quiet, and it is fully cable managed. On this side, we have information in foreign languages. On this side we have a nice diagram um, about the actual cables that are on the PSU as well as the length in between the actual connectors which is quite a nice little feature to see. Moving on to the back of the box we have some more information with regards to the PSU. As I've already mentioned we've got the Silent Wings fan on the inside, the cool off feature. Now what this does, you are able to connect up to three fans to this PSU and it will allow for those fans to continue running up to three minutes after you've turned the, the actual PSU and the power off to your computer. So that any heat that is still within the system around the GPU, the, the CPU etc is still being circulated so therefore the, the hot heat that you've generated from, from gaming, from overclocking or from general use has then basically been removed from the system to, to help it from uh, you know causing any long term damage. It is fully cable managed and as we can see with the power box down here uh, the maximum power is very close to um, on, on the rail here is also as we can see the 12 volt rail um, is 840 watt which is only 10 watt less than the maximum output of the actual PSU itself so it's a really good really good um, power distribution on the actual PSU. The PSU is also Crossfire and SLI certified and is an 80 plus bronze model. Okay, let's lift the lid. And inside, the first thing that we get is the Power Zone user manual. It's a very good idea to read this because it will tell you how to set up uh, the special features like the cool, uh, the cool off, um, as well as give you a bit more information about the actual PSU. We'll come on to this in a moment, um, but we do have the Power Zone uh, PSU inside the bag. On this side of the box, we have a whole host of cables. And on this side, again, a whole host of cables, a power cord, and some screws, and also some cable ties, which is quite a nice thing to see. So let's have a closer look at what cables we do get. Okay, so the first lot of cables we're going to look at are these, which are the graphics cables, the PCIe ones. We do actually have a total of four PCIe connectors. And the way that they've done it here is two uh, PCIe connectors per channel on the actual cable. Um, as you can see with the, the cables themselves are quite a nice length. Uh, the cable braiding itself is very thick indeed. Um, it does feel very strong. Um, it is also quite rigid as well so if you're, you're trying to straighten these cables out um, it might take a little bit of effort if you needed to, to do that. The braiding colour itself um, is also you know, black and, and orange obviously to, to keep in with the Be Quiet theme. It may not be to everyone's taste and the blue connectors on the end. Pop them to one side. We also get the 12 volt P8 cable as well in, in that particular bundle and they're all Velcro fastened. Moving on to this bundle of cables. I see they're extremely long which is really nice to see. Uh, we've got one here that's got a total of four Molex connectors so it's nice that they've uh, got their own separate cable um, in case you need them. This one here has got a total of four SATA connectors as well as this one here which by the looks of it has only got three SATA connectors. This bundle of cables, let's really look at this. This one here does actually feature a floppy drive connector as well as by the looks of it three SATA connectors and a Molex connector as well as a additional, uh, the, the additional CPU power cable connector. Now this cable here is quite interesting. We have also got the thick ATX 20, 
uh, 20 pin plus 4 connector which is very thick indeed uh, like I said the braiding looks really good um, you can only just about see the, the yellow cable on the inside which is good and it's, it's a reasonably good length actually um, so you shouldn't have any problems routing that around the back of the case also connected here we have three individual fan connectors now one end you'll be connecting into the actual PSU the other end is for powering a Molex fan and the other one is for controlling the speed uh, three pin connector on the actual cable itself so you're able to control a three pin fan from the actual PSU. Uh, there's three channels which we'll, we'll, we'll demonstrate in, in a short while. There are three channels so you've got three fans that are able to be controlled directly from the PSU and able to cool the system down after you've actually switched it off. So you have got a lot of cable options when it comes to the SATA and also the Molex connectors. Obviously you can, there is a separate channel for the Molex ones for example if you have a lot of um, the, the older style hard drives for example um, or you've got a mix match between the, the, the SATA and the Molex so it, it's really good that Be Quiet have thought about this in, in great detail and provided us with a range of different options from the PSU. Okay, so let's have a look at the actual PSU. It comes obviously in this very nice pouch or bag to help keep it nice and protected and help look good. So I'll just pop that down. On this side we have the 135mm uh, variable uh, silent wings fan. It's got special blanks to obviously help with the airflow and reduce the amount, the amount of noise that it, it generates uh, along with a copper core uh, in the middle as well. So it's really good to see and also we've got the grills over the top which is quite a nice effect. It's not your standard grill. Um, along with the Be Quiet logo down at the bottom here. On this side of the PSU, the, the front or the back whatever way you want to call it, you obviously got the power cord, the switch, uh, the vented area here which looks really nice. On either side of the PSU we have got the power zone branding uh, along with the, the, the sort of ridges that are embossed on this which feel really good and look really effective. On the top we have a little bit of information about the, the, the power table, the relevant sort of cert certifications that the PSU has. And on this side we come on to the actual connectors. So I'm just going to pop this down and we'll have a closer look. Okay, so looking at the uh, back of the PSG with the connectors, as you can see it is fully modular. So we have the 24 pin connector here for the motherboard, three of the PCIe channels up at the top and an additional one down here along with the uh, P8 cable and the additional power from the motherboard. The SATA and Molex connectors go in here as well as the three channel fan controller for the call off feature. The dimensions for the PSU are 860 millimeters in length, 155 millimeters in width, and 175 millimeters in depth. At full power, it will reach around about 50 degrees C, which is around about sort of average for a PSU, which is good. The PSU comes with all the safety and protection certificates that you come to expect from a brand like Be Quiet. The OEM for the actual device itself is FSP, so inside the actual uh, PSU itself you know that you're going to get quality components, um, capacitors, etc. I'm not quite sure as to, to what model the FSP PSU that this is, um, but by the looks of it, it's extremely well built indeed. As I've already mentioned, it is 80 plus bronze with this PSU going up to around about 88% efficient. So let's now connect the PSU up and see if we can demonstrate the cool off feature. Okay, so I've now connected up a 1500 RPM Be Quiet Silent Wings 2 fan to the actual power supply itself. I'll just turn this around and show you what we've got here. Also, it is going into one of the fan connectors at the top here, and using the three pin connector, it connects straight to the PSU. So, let's give this a turn on a moment. And as you can see, the PSU fan and the Be Quiet fan are starting to kick into operation. Now, one thing that I must point out if you are using fans with this power supply, try to find some fans that don't have any form of thermal sensor on them because if you are using a fan that is uh, has got its own thermal sensor and thermal sensor control it will sort of confuse the actual PSU um, and effectively it won't be as efficient as what it should be so the Be Quiet range of fans is obviously ideal for this 
So that's now been running for a while. So what we're going to do is just quickly pull out the connector here. Just bear with me. So that is now the actual PSU completely without uh, being switched on on the actual motherboard. And as you can see the PSU fan as well as the uh, additional fan is still going around. And as mentioned this can go on for I believe it's 3 minutes or up to 3 minutes depending on the heat. Um, that's within the actual um, system itself. And what I'll also do, oh, bear with me, is just quickly pull the power cord out the back. And as you can see, the PSU has still got enough juice. It literally is not connected at all in any way, shape or form uh, to any form of electricity. So you can still see that the fans are still going around. So this is going to protect your system. Um, it is going to help with the heat that's still left inside the actual system itself and inside your actual case to get rid of the actual heat which is I, I think this is a really really cool feature and it's something that really uh, Big Quiet have done very well in designing um, so it's, it's extremely good indeed Okay, so it's an overview for the PowerZone 850 watt PSU from Be Quiet. The look of the actual PSU itself is very good. Um, I like the the, uh, the embossed PowerZone branding along the side as well as the rear fan grille on the 135mm fan. The cool off feature for me is definitely uh, the, the, the best feature of the actual PSU. To be able to control three fans and to keep them running after you switch the system off is something that is, is obviously very important indeed. And I'm, I'm surprised that something like this isn't mainstream across all the PSUs um, on the market at the moment. It is modular. Uh, fully modular and at the moment at the time of shooting this video it's around about 130 pound which is extremely good value for money for a fully mod modular PSU. The amount of different cable options as well coming from the PSU with the SATA and the Molex and the way that they're distributed across the various different cables is extremely good. The cable braiding is nice and thick and rigid and uh, the actual cables themselves are a very good length indeed. So I hope you liked the overview for Be Quiet and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. We hoped you liked our video review. If you did, then please leave a like as well as any comments or questions you may have down below. Full details and specifications on this item can be found at our website, nismotech.com, along with all the links for purchasing if you wish. Also on our site, you'll find our latest reviews and current giveaways, plus a lot more. We look forward to seeing you in our next review.